now got all the metal for the uh, gate cut out. Probably we'll start on this after we're done with the trailer, but since we had the saw out and everything for cutting, we went ahead and just cut everything. Um, that way we'll be ready to weld this up one weekend. And so got them, got the frame cut with 45s and then the um, uprights, the railing parts, uh, just for the centers. We're going to do them about six inches just so it'll match the, the rail and stuff that's already up on there. Um, just on one end, they didn't put a gate, so we figured might as well put a gate on that side. Lots of wildlife and keep our chickens off the porch and everything else. Okay, so we're just out here grinding our gate and getting it all prepped up to weld too, so. So on the outside frame, I just ground around the ends right here so that the 45s will fit up correctly. On the rails, I just grounded just a little bit around the tops. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just get a um, flap disc instead of a grinder and sand and grind all that scale off of this hole inside. And then that way we have a good connection right here to weld up all these instead of trying to measure out, and basically the whole thing's gonna be almost sanded anyway, so in order to prepare it, I'm just gonna get a, a flap wheel and do the whole thing. Um, but now everything's, all the burrs and everything's are grind off. These are good for connection. Then all I have to do is lay it down, lay everything in place and clamp it, and then it'll all be clean and you can just tack it up and go. Alrighty, so got another project for the uh, miller with our newly acquired bottle. Gonna make our gate for our porch. I don't know if we've showed it in any videos or not, but anyway. There's a gate on one side and not a gate on the other, so we're making a gate for the other. So, got our, uh, did a little pre preliminary stuff here, but. We cut these a long time ago, and, uh, thanks to Grandma again, got us the gas bottle and some more wire, so. Here we're gonna start doing a little more welding projects. So, got these things, um. Like I said, had them cut a long time ago, so now I got them magneted, just the two separate sides, and then we'll worry about those last two corners in a minute once I tack these together. Next step, measure, he put all these at six inches and just gonna weld them up now. Had to uh, cut it down a little bit because these were just a little bit too short. Um, anyway, now we're back and ready to weld up the frame. Like, I don't know what you wanna call that. Balance. Yeah, anyway, there you go. Those things. Lots of welding to do, so come back in a little bit. Well, welcome back. So I thought I was almost done with this thing. But, I don't know what I did. Anyway, I measured wrong. And we did this quite a while ago. We cut this out when we were making the utility trailer. Um, and then just put the stuff on the shelf over there. So, didn't ever re-measure it or anything. I just had all the pieces done and cut out and everything. So, he just welded it up a couple days ago. And, um... I sprayed some primer on there, then I took it over there just to kind of fit it up and stuff. Uh, I was going to mark the hinges and go ahead and spray paint the hinges and everything as well. But it doesn't fit. Um, I'm almost uh, 
well, I'm just about perfect uh, if I wanted to slide it in there. Um, but it's probably just about a half, eh, maybe a quarter inch off on the bottom. Uh, you know, the, the rails must come in at a little bit of an angle. Um, I could have swore I accounted for an inch less when I measured, but of course, did something wrong. So, um, I was going to just change and put it down at the bottom of the steps instead of up on the top of the porch, which you'll get to see in a little bit. But then I got to thinking about it and, I was like, you know, I'd rather just have it like I originally planned. So what I'm going to do is just going to take a saw and um, chop it out right here. And chop it out right here. Um, I'll put the hinges on that side so all we'll have is just some support right here. So I'm just going to chop about an inch off right in here and then move it over and weld it back up. I'll grind it down pretty smooth and uh, probably won't even notice too much. In fact, I might even just have him weld it here on the inside up underneath. We'll just do that and that way I can make it fit right and then I'll have it fixed correctly and can put it back in there. Um, I, I really am not trying to make excuses, but I think when I originally uh, thought about this, gosh, it's, it's March now, and um, I measured everything and stuff in November sometime right around Thanksgiving, so I think I was going to originally use one inch square tube, uh, then for some reason we changed to one and a quarter. I believe that's where the problem is, um, because I didn't account for the, anyway, the extra half inch here. So, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to just cut that out. straight, which was what I was afraid of, but I'll figure it out. This is when a bandsaw would come in handy. That was pretty good. This side would be alright. This side I went down at an angle too much on this one, so <clears throat> not sure what I'm going to do. like to have a welding table. That's what we're going to get next. Something nice and flat and well for welding on. Um, so this just doesn't quite work. It's not, not flat enough. That side's good right there. That's perfect. This side, not so much. Gate right there. 
looks pretty good. A little bit of paint. Um, that'll be pretty smooth for the top. Um, and it'll look good. You know, it's just going to be a gate for the porch. Uh, the one end down there, that way it's all gated up and kind of keep some of the animals. Really keep the chickens off on one side. Right now we have the um, mattress, an old mattress box spring propped up on there to keep them down because they like to climb up there. So now we'll have another gate on that side. Okay, there it is. Um, got it Got it painted just now, uh, waiting for it to dry and then I'll put it up this evening and show you the whole porch uh, where we wanted to put it and everything. Um, as you can see right up in here a little bit, you can see where I got pretty aggressive with the grinder so it's got a little dip in it. Um, and then down here you can see the seam where I cut it as well, just a little bit. Um, but it did shorten it up some and it should fit now uh, just fine. Like I said, this will just be the latch side anyway, so I'll just put a latch right up here. and. Um, the hinges will be on that side, so all the weight will be over there anyway. And, and then we also got our stove done, so I'll put a link into that. Um, you know, it's March now. I think I started the, I don't even remember when I posted the video, but a few months ago. <laughs> so a uh, few, few items, you know, make sure you don't leave it outside. I did have, a, I don't know, almost two hours uh, wire wheeling it and getting it ready to paint because I let it sit outside for a couple of days after I burned all the paint off and then it got a lot of that surface rust on there. Um, we did bring it in the shop but after that and so it didn't get any more but it still took a couple hours to get it all wire wheeled and ready to go. Um, got it all painted in on the blocks. I'll probably leave it right about right there. Um, it's about two feet away from the wall and then I'm gonna get some of that cement fiber board um, to a couple layers and put that there. Might even you know put an inch or two between that and the board. Uh, the wall and then now we just need to finish painting the walls and get our shelf and clean up our mess here um, get a place for all the reloading junk and get it out of the way and uh, so it doesn't ruin and get kicked over but um, yeah now so now I'm just gonna watch Craigslist over the summer and see if I can find some chimney pipe cheap because um, you know just two foot up and two foot out probably cost as much as the whole barrel kit did anyway I uh, didn't need to use it this year so I was in no hurry I just finally got it finished and It'll be ready to go for next winter because, you know, like they say, it was real mild this year. I don't even know if we froze. I think we froze twice. Um, and so next year, of course, is supposed to be really cold, right? So we'll see. Anyway, um, I'll get the video of the rest of this here and um, get that for you. There's the gate. All matches and everything. All installed. Just got to spray the hinges a little bit. Um, they are outdoor hinges, it says, but uh, looks like that zinc stuff to me, which will rust up pretty easy. So I'm just going to go ahead and spray it with some of that paint and, uh, and go from there. But mm, pretty much same color, probably same Home Depot can or whatever. Um, you know, this is brand new, of course. That's old, so that's why it's a little bit darker, I assume. Not been in the sun yet. Uh, but anyway, uh, fits pretty good now with my my cut and the splice that I made uh, you can you can kind of see it there you can see the waviness of it kind of right in there and um but like I said it's on the hinge side who cares this was just a little bit uh, off here and this side's pretty straight um, so got a little bit of a movement here probably from the porch over the years that it's been here but um, you know, small little gap it's fine uh, but now it'll work works good um, you know, getting better at these little projects and um, able to do stuff around the house. This gate actually was a lot heavier than I thought. Um, by the time we got it all put together, it was uh, pretty, pretty heavy duty. So there's a lot of metal around this porch. But um, anyway, that's the project for this week was to finish that gate up so we can get rid of that box spring mattress that we had propped up here. Um, just a like I said, keeps the chickens off the porches. Um, they like to come up here and explore, especially if you're sitting up here. They'll poke their head around and kind of be like, hey, what you doing up there? So, um, And, of course, don't want that because chickens leave a trail. And you know what I mean. So, anyway. All right, well, thanks for watching everything. And, uh, you know, comment, subscribe, tell your friends, do all that good stuff. And uh, we'll catch you in the next video.